Hello and welcome to uh, Sam the Chipman bringing you all the latest fish and chip shop review. This time we're going to Istanbul's fish and chips and kebabs in Little Sandhurst, Sandhurst, same area, regardless. I just want to say thank you for all for watching and subscribing to all my content. Uh, let's go in and uh, enjoy our fish and chips. And we are back from uh, the rainstorm outside. I would do the video outside, but again, it was chucking it down. So um, we are here with our fish and chips, as you can tell. So let's get into the packaging. It's your generic fish and chip box. Um, I'll give you the score in the summary. Uh, it's kept my food nice and warm. In fact, so warm that it was gift wrapped uh, when I got my fish and chips. So let's talk about the fish itself. So um, this is a small fish. It is not a small fish. It's a big fish, little fish in a cardboard box. But it is a good sized fish. Uh, in terms of colour, it's got, it's a little bit darker colour in terms of batter and there's not much crunch into it, the batter. Let's try a bit of this. Oh. There's no crunch, it's soft batter. And in terms of, oh, indigestion, sorry. So um, in terms of um, fish, taste, it tastes great. Um, not much crunch. Let me see if, oh, there we go. There's a bit of crunch here. There's more crunch on that end than there is this end. But fish tastes brilliant though. Dark batter, light fluffy fish. It's really good fish. Um, even though it's a big, big small fish, right? It's good fish. Let's talk about the chip potato itself. Now, nice, good color, very good color. There is crunch in those chips. And like the fish, it's a massive portion of chips. It's not a small chip. It's a, like a big portion of chips. And small is the smallest portions they had available. Let's take another example here. There is a bit of skin on this one. And there is a crunchy chip right here. Where it's crispy at the top. And you can tell where it's been fried. Still tastes good though. All right guys, I am gonna eat this and we will be back for the summary. And we're back. So uh, I wanna thank uh, Istanbul's Fish and Chips and Kebabs for a lovely meal. Now let's get straight into it. Now, in terms of what I ordered, I ordered a small cod and chips that again, as you saw earlier in the video, it was a massive portion of fish and chips. And again, that was the smallest portion. In fact, I couldn't even finish it, but it did fill me up, which is the main thing. So I am really grateful for that. So in terms of um, what I ordered, I ordered small cotton chips, like I said. Uh, it is cash only, I'm afraid. So if you've got a debit card, uh, forget it. In terms of um, delivery, it is delivery. Um, you can order delivery, it's a minimum £14, one four, and you can order it online over the phone or in person. Um, but uh, in terms of uh, opening hours, it is 4 till 11.30, which I think is a reasonable um, time to be open. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into the um, actual review, the summary, as it were. So let's talk about location and parking. Location and parking is, um, it is in a parade of shops, like a little square. And um, parking um, is very limited, but it's free. And you can basically easily walk to the sh uh, fish and chip shop, no problem. So um, the only thing is, uh, it is quite hard to find at first, but uh, once you do 
go there enough times, you'll be able to find it no problem. So in terms of location and parking, I'm gonna give it a, a, a very reasonable uh, three out of five. Now let's talk about the overall appearance of the shop itself. It is very bright. Um, it's a it's a little bit um, you know tight around some places inside the chippy. So for example, there isn't much customer space. Um, but uh, other, other than that, it's uh, very very tidy, and um, it's uh, very friendly. And it has uh, information on the shops as well to help you out. So. With that in mind, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. And let's talk about the service. Now, when I ordered my uh, fish and chips, uh, um, it estimated time will be 10 to 15 minutes as soon as you place your order, um, due to the fact that fish uh, takes a while to be cooked. And uh, it was cooked to order, so it was getting um, fried as I ordered it. And uh, in terms of, um, like answering my questions it was kind of a little bit difficult because well i forgot to ask really but it's okay though uh, but however they did um ask salt and vinegar uh, on my fish and chips but also um um it would have been nice to see a few smiles every now and again but um other than that um very um very efficient and uh, very um polite staff so i'm gonna give it four out of five. Okay, so now let's talk about the menu. Now the menu um, was quite a variety. You've got your cod, haddock, place, scampi, and your cod bites. Uh, you've got your, um, and because they do kebabs as well, you've got kebabs. And in terms of chicken, they had some chicken wings, uh, some spicy wings, and it was quite a big menu. They've even got like a meal deal at the back. Now I've had a look at this meal deal, but we'll get to it in a, in a bit. Um, but um, depending on what size portion of chips they put in, you could either be saving yourself 50p or losing 50p, depending on what kind of uh, chips they put in the meal deal. Um, for example, meal six costs uh, £21.50. And uh, again, it depends on the uh, portion of chips. Um, but other than that, it's a big menu, a very big menu. Like, like literally, that's, that's the entire menu variety of sauces and um, variety of burgers as well and side orders uh, pita bread actually um, makes a change um, like from any chippy menu so with that in mind I'm gonna say it's a very decent four and a half out of five right now let's talk about the deals discounts and offers now they don't do any OAP days or they don't do uh, any discounts for NHS staff or anything like that but however uh, they do have meal deals but because they don't have any uh, proper like deals and discounts in terms of loyalty schemes or anything like that I'm going to give um, them and this is an ongoing theme here but I'm going to give them that <coughs> I'm going to give them a zero out of five right now let's talk about the price now I would say it's very good value um, for what it is because um, even though it's one portion it can easily feed two people and that is what I like to call a uh, two-for-one special really Even though it's technically not a two-for-one special, but you get what I mean. So technically you are saving you are saving yourselves um, £4.75 by just one person if there's two of you so with that said um, because um, of the size of the portion and the fact it's got value, I'm going to give it a very decent four and a half out of five. Now let's talk about the packaging. Now, when I got the fish and chips, uh, it was wrapped in chip paper and it was inside the box within that chip paper. So it definitely um, kept my uh, food lovely and warm and hot. And also it... Uh, protected my food from falling out and also they gave me a carrier bag so in terms of packaging bearing in mind they had they didn't have their own unique design on it I'm gonna give packaging a very decent four and a half out of five they would have got an extra 0.5 if they had their own design but they didn't so four and a half out of five let's talk about the fish now the fish was a big fish 
where in actual fact it was a small fish inside a cardboard box. Time so I'm going to be running that pun uh, in this video. So in terms of um, the size it was a massive fish like I said. Uh, in terms of the taste it was very very tasty. Uh, it was um, a mixture of soft and uh, crunch batter and in terms of colour um, it was a bit dark in colour but um, but it was still tasty though. So with that in mind I'm going to give um, the fish a very decent three and a half out of five. Now let's talk about the chips. Now the chips themselves um, it was a very big portion of chips for a small portion. In terms of um, how thick the chips were, they were nice and thick. There was a mixture of chips, soft chips and crunchy chips, so I uh, can't complain about that. In terms of uh, the size of an actual chip, it was um, definitely um, big for its size. Anyway, um, so I'm going to give the chips, and bearing in mind that they cost three quid for a small portion, I'm going to say a very, very, very decent um, four out of five. Now let's talk about the overall meal of the fish and chips. So basically, it was like feeding of the 5,000 um, when it came to uh, that small cod and chips. Honestly, like that could feed 5,000 people and there would still be plenty left over. I'm not exaggerating, but honestly, Considering it's expensive for a small portion of chips, it was still a tasty, um, light, lovely bit of fish, lovely bit of chips. I wish the size was a little bit smaller, but then again, it has filled me. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. So now it's time for the total score for Istanbul's fish and chips and kebab in Little Sandhurst and I'm going to give it a free 35 and a half out of 5. Why did I say nearly 3 and a half? I don't know where that came from. But no, 35 and a half out of 50. Um, very good fish and chips. Definitely, uh, if you are part of the area, definitely pay them a visit because honestly, it's definitely worth checking out. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. There will not be a video next week because my um, editor is taking a well-deserved holiday. So thank you, Becky, for all the editing you've been doing. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you all, you guys, for watching, you subscribers. And anyone that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe, reel in, and hit that like button as well. All right, guys, I have been Sam the Chip Man, and uh, you guys have been absolutely brilliant. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share with your friends, unless it's food, in that case, don't. Alright, feast out.